Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is the Chief IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affair MCQ series in which what we do, we daily discuss your current affairs uh, from uh, by, by solving the MCQs that are based upon uh, current affairs. So today is 10th November so let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is what are the best immediate measures to arrest the rise in uh, prices of essential goods by the government. First increase the exports, second increase the import. Third, set the stock limit for retailer and traders. Uh, fourth, regulating the credit rationing. So we have to choose that which of these is correct. So friends, it is quite easy answer uh, question because obviously export if we export already uh, if if product is uh, uh, if the price is high then uh, it may be possible due to uh, the lack of availability of the product. So obviously if we increase the exports then certainly uh, that would uh, that would further increase the price prices. So first there is no question of first being in the part of your uh, uh, this uh, uh, this answer. So obviously only one option is left and that is B. That is second uh, second third and fourth. So this this question has been uh, asked because uh, in the context of onion prices that are rising. So you might have been uh, reading this news that onion prices are increasing at a rapid pace. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to credit trading. First, credit trading is, is an assessment of credit worthiness of a borrower in general terms or with respect to a particular debt or financial obligation. Second, there are three six credit rating agencies registered under SEBI, namely Chrysler, ICRA, uh, CARES, Mera, Fitch India and Brickwork ratings. So we have to choose that which of these statements is correct. Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct. The so solution is C. So basically Moody's has uh, moved India from from stable to negative category so what is credit rating so it is an assessment of credit worthiness of a borrower in general terms or with respect to a particular debt or financial obligation so uh, credit rating can be assigned to any entity that seeks to borrow money so it can be applied to individual also and corporations state or provincial authorities and sovereign government so credit rating agency is basically a company that assigns credit ratings uh, which rate adapters ability to pay back debt by making time principal and interest payments and likelihood of default so uh, now uh, as for the Moody uh, India's uh, uh, this credit worthiness has been uh, uh, moved to negative category from stable so CRAs are were set up to provide independent evidence and research based opinion on the ability and willingness of the issuer to meet debt service obligations and uh, uh, current essentially uh, attaching a probability of default to a specific instrument so evaluating the credit worthiness of an instrument comprises of both qualitative as well as qual uh, quantitative assessments making credit rating far from, uh, for, far from a straightforward mathematical calculation. So importance for money lenders is this gives them better investment decisions and also provides them safety for borrowers also uh, easy loan, uh, loan approval is there whose credit rating is th those borrowers whose credit rating is good banks approve loan applications uh, easily and credit ratings will enable independent benchmarks for pricing debt ushered in a culture of financial discipline help to allocate a capital efficiently by pricing risk ap appropriately and supported financial innovation. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to National Steel Policy 2017. First, under this policy, the government plans to have three, uh, 300 million uh, met uh, uh, metric per year of steel production uh, um, capacity by two uh, 2030. Second, recently, the government proposed under this uh, policy, uh, steel scraps recycling policy that aims to provide uh, to reduce imports, conserve resources and save energy. So we have to choose the which of these statements are correct. Let me tell you that both of these statements are correct. Uh, so recently uh, in a bid to ensure quality scrap for steel industry, uh, the government has uh, come out with a st uh, steel scrap recycling policy that aims to reduce imports, conserve resources and save energy. So policy resulted from India's go Indian government's national steel policy of 2017 in which country is uh, expected to have 300 million MT per year of steel production uh, capacity by 2030. So there are various key features so you can pause the video and can check the uh, uh, key features and uh, more details you can uh, read by pausing the video. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to Pradhan Mantri Matritva Vandana Yojana. First, it is a conditional cash transfer scheme for pregnant and lactating women. Second, it is implemented by Ministry of Health. 
so we have to choose that which of these statements are correct let me tell you friends uh, that only one statement is correct and that is first so pradhan mantri matritva vandana yojana is a basically conditional cash transfer scheme for pregnant and lactating mothers so it is not implemented by uh, your uh, uh, your uh, the, this uh, uh, ministry of health the scheme is aimed at pregnant or lactating women aged 19 years or above for the first time so uh, the program provides a, a partial compensation for wage loss during childbirth and afterward during child care so this is an important area of focus as questions about the implementation of this scheme can also appear in prelims as well as ethic papers so you are required to read it carefully so objectives are basically providing cash compensation against wage loss so that the mother can take adequate rest before and after the birth, birth of first living child so more details you can re read about uh, in by pausing the video so uh, it provides the benefits that is rupees 6000 in two installments based on the fulfillment of conditions listed below so the first installment of rupees 3000 is released on registration of pregnancy uh, within the first four months at an anganwadi center or healthcare facility so more conditions you can uh, read by pausing the video so because it will consume a lot of time so uh, this is about your uh, fourth question now let's move to the next question next is uh, rbi has increased the household income limit for borrowers from uh, nbfc mfis only in rural areas second micro financial institution plays an important role in financial in inclusion so we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct uh, let me tell you friends uh, that uh, only one statement is correct and that is second that is micro financial institutions play an important role in financial inclusion so there is no doubt in it so answer is b so more details you can uh, uh, read in the, the hindu newspaper of yesterday now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements first carnatic music is generally not associated with any gharanas uh, second carnatic music is influenced by vedic philosophy ancient hindu music traditions and certain persian elements whereas hindustani classical music is uh, associated with temple music so only one statement is correct and that is first one there is one uh, one only so hindustani style of music uh, can be uh, the origin of it can be uh, considered from the delhi sultanate and amir khusro a composer in persian turkish uh, arabic as well as braj bhasha so he is uh, credited with systemizing some aspects of hindustani music and also introduced introducing several rags such as uh, yaman kalyan uh, zilaf and uh, sarpada so more details you can read by pausing the video so because it uh, it will consume lot of time if we started discussing here about each and uh, uh, every type of music and their main details now let's move to the next question next is kalapani territory disputes is between which two nations a india and nepal b india and bhutan c india and pakistan d india and china so friends answer is a india and nepal so nepal government has strong has strongly objected to the inclusion of kalapani under the indian territory as per the newly released political map of india so is issue is that in the latest map india included kalapani into the pithodagar district of uttarakhand so uh, nepal government says that kalapani is an integral part of the country and that talks are still on between new delhi and kathmandu over this unresolved area so foreign secretaries of both company uh, countries have been assigned the responsibility to resolve the remaining border related issues that are between india and uh, nepal so you can check here so this is basically the point so where it is a uh, uh, issue of, of dispute so kalapani is located at an altitude of 36, uh, 3600 meters on the class mansur over route so it borders uttarakhand in india and uh, uh, sudar uh, pashchim pradesh in uh, nepal so more details you can uh, read so basically genesis uh, uh, is uh, is uh, is to the uh, can be its origin can be traced to the treaty of sagoli uh, that was signed between nepal and british east india company in 1816 so the kali river was recorded as nepal's western boundary with india so it have however made no mention of a ridge, uh, ridge line and subsequently the maps of the areas drawn by british surveys showed the source of the kali river at different places so more details you can read by pausing the video now let's move to the next question next is tiger triumph is a military exercise between which two nations a india thailand b india and russia c india and us d india and china so friends answer is c that is india and us so it is a first tri service amphibious exercise between india and us and uh, as it is had, it has been conducted in visakhapatnam and kakinada andhra pradesh so exercise will help both the countries to exchange knowledge and to establish professional and personal relationship 
Now let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to super cyclone. For super cyclone is an atmospheric disturbance uh, where uh, where the wind speed is above 220 km 221 km per hour. Second, India has not received any super cyclone so far because of the presence of Indian monsoon system. So we have to choose that which of these statements is are correct. Friends, only one statement is correct and that is first. So types of disturbances, uh, uh, they are associated with wind speed in circulation. So low pressure area less than 17 knots, uh, 31 km per hour. Then depression is uh, 31 to 49. And then deep depression 50 to 61. Cyclonic storm 60 to 88. Severe cyclonic storm is from 89 to 118 and very severe. Uh, cyclone uh, 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 it, its uh, speed is 119 to 221 kilometer and then uh, 221 kilometer then uh, you are super cyclonic storm uh, it, its uh, speed is more than 221 kilometer per hour so cyclone bulbul is the seventh named storm of the unusually active 2019 north indian ocean cyclone season so season has been cyclone uh, pabuk uh, cyclone Fani, uh, Cyclone Vayu, Cyclone Hikka, Cyclone Kyar and uh, Cyclone Maha. So Bulbul name was contributed by Pakistan. So if IMD's prediction hold true, Bulbul will also be the sixth storm to reach an intestine sub very severe cyclonic storm. And now let's move to the last question of the day. Last question is uh, uh, consider the following statements. First, Special Protection Group is under the control of Cabinet Secretariat. Second, it provides protection to the Prime Minister and also to the former Prime Ministers of India. So friends, uh, let me tell you that both of these statements are correct. So you might have heard about this news that uh, uh, the Union Government is expected to take the security cover by Special Protection Group being provided at present to Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi. So they will however continue to get a Z plus security cover where they will be provided commandos belonging to CRPF. Central Reserve Police Force. So how security levels are decided? So Union Home Ministry takes this call after evaluating the inputs from all the intelligence agencies such as Intelligence Bureau and Research and Analysis Bank. So however since none of the intelligence agencies is accountable to any uh, external statutory body barring internal oversight by ministries of home and foreign affairs, the issue of security cover is uh, open to manipulation. So genesis uh, of uh, special protection group is uh, uh, it basically it was uh, in, in March 1985 following the recommendations of a committee that was set up by Home Ministry. Special unit was created for this purpose. And the cabinet secretariat and uh, this unit initially called the special, special protection unit was renamed as special protection group in, in April 1985. So subsequently the parliament passed special protection group act which was notified in June 98 to provide for the constitution and regulation of an armed force of the union for providing proximate security to the prime minister of India and for matters connected therewith. Uh, therewith. So uh, the proximate security was defined in this act as protection provided from close quarters during journey by road, rail, aircraft, watercraft or on foot or in any means of transport and to include the, the places of functions, engagements, residence or halt. So coverage was expanded apart from the uh, uh, Prime Minister to former Prime Ministers of India and members of their immediate families and uh, through an amendment in the act in, uh, in the aftermath of the assassination of Rajiv Gandhi in May 1991. So categories of security are different so you can read about them by pausing the video. So friends this is all about today's discussion about daily current affair MCQs. So if you like this video then do ensure that you like it, share it with your friends. And uh, you can also join our telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box. So more than uh, 14,000 subs subscribers are there that follow us on this channel. So if you want to be part of them then you are more than welcome to join our telegram channel uh, if, you, if you want to get the get access to various public resources that we have for the purpose of CSC preparation and also you can visit to our website the link of which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box and uh, if you have any doubts queries you can mail us at hyes21 at the gmail.com and also friends do ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice day 